my house. Hey guys, it's Andrew, and today I've got an unboxing from Amazon.com. So here's the box. As you can see, it's from Amazon.com, and I cannot wait to open it. So what I ordered here is I ordered four 3x3 three three puzzles, and look, here's two of them. I think the other two are going to be shipped later. So let's see what we have here. So here it is, we have a Lingyan right here and a Zanshi. I ordered a black one, but is that stickerless? It looks like it might be a stickerless one. It's not what I ordered. Yes, indeed, it looks like it is a stickerless Zanshi. It's very nice. A little bit better than my current speed cube right now. Too bad I won't be able to use that at contests. I might return that, I'm not sure. But let's get into this Ling Yun. Hard to open. Ah. Well, I ripped the box, but it's alright. So here's the cube. This is the Ling Yun. First turns, it feels like. It's a little bit stiff, might just need to be broken in, but what it really feels like is an Alpha 5 right out of the box. It has that sort of crispy Alpha feel. So, I got the remaining cubes, and I'm going to open them now. Hopefully they gave me what I ordered this time. Alright, that was hard to open. And yes, it looks like I've got the other two puzzles here. And this time I can see that they aren't stickerless. I think this is the Guhong, so I'm going to open that first. And here is the Guhong. Yes, much faster than my, my old Guhong, which isn't very good right now. And that's the Guhong. Now here's the one that I'm really excited about. I've actually already opened this a few times in other takes and ripped the box. So I've already played with this one a tiny bit. And I already know that it's very smooth. So I'll get back to you once I've had more time right, to review so these. Here is the stickerless the stickerless Zanchi. Now I decided to review this is only actually few hours after I recorded that second part of the unboxing, but I already have a Zanchi, so I know I know it pretty well, well enough to review it at least, and I decided to keep this one, because I retensioned my, and relubricated my old Zanchi, and it became much better after that, so I'm just going to keep using that, and I'm going to keep this for my collection. So here's my review of it. I really like that it's stickerless because it, well, it looks cool. And, um, it's very fast. I'm not sure if it's been lubricated already or not. It doesn't feel like it. It doesn't glide. But I keep doing a T-perm. I don't know why. But it's very fast still. And once I break it in, I'm sure this will be much better. So let's go in into the cutting. So uh, here's a standard 45 degrees. Uh, just a tiny bit of a lockup that might be the tensioning. I'm sure that once I retension it, I'll be able to do that. Just gotta go a tiny bit to the right, and it cuts it easily. I'm sure this will be better once I break it in.
let's go reverse cutting. To about right there, easy. A little more than halfway, easy. Almost full QB. Not quite. But still very good. And just I mean the overall feel of this cube. Like it doesn't really lock up on me during algorithms or during solves. I'll just show you a solve right now. So inspection. Still a bit a little bit hard for me to recognize these colors because transitioning from a cube with neon orange tiles. So the orange is a little bit off, and also the fact that it's stickerless just sort of throws it off. So there was a solve. As you can see, it really didn't lock up. It's, a, it's about what I expect from a Zanchi. So, alright, that's about all I have to say about this cube. I'll be moving on to this cube. I'm not sure which one it is, so let's find out. Alright, this is the Goo Hong. So as I said, I already have a Goo Hong. However, my Goo Hong was never very good. I was never really that impressed with it. This one, I'm liking. I think it's already been lubricated, but still. Very good. It's quite fast and the cutting's pretty good. I'm just doing a solve right now. As you can see it does lock a little bit more than my Zanchi. But I think that that'll go away with breaking in. See, because it doesn't quite have the same cutting range. Right there, can't cut it, it just locks. Right there, it can barely cut that. I feel a lot of resistance. Right there, you can cut it with resistance. So really, I'm not too impressed with the cutting range. I hope that's going to break in. And, yeah, see, just scrambling it right now feels stiff. This is still sort of a first impressions of it. But it's really fast and it doesn't pop. Like my old one, it wasn't this fast and it popped more. So this is definitely better than my old one. Not sure what was wrong with my old one. I know that somehow the springs got rusted in the screws. Heh, <laughs> talking made me mess up that algorithm. So that's about all I have to say about the Goo Hong. I'll move on to this cube, which is the Lun Hui. I can tell because it has this really smooth feeling. I can tell right away that I really like this cube. I'm not sure whether I prefer it over my Zanchi, but it is very, very nice. It's like, it just glides through everything I do. The corner cutting, about the same as my Zanchi, although it, with this cube, I'm not sure exactly how to describe it. It, it feels so smooth, but it feels like feels like there's a tiny bit of resistance to all my turns. Just like, if you turn it slowly, it feels terrible. It just feels really bad. But really, it's just smooth. As you can see, when I'm turning it slowly, it just sort of like clicks from place to place. I'm not doing that on purpose. And... So it just feels like there's a little bit of resistance to my turns, which makes it feel like it's going to lock up, but it's not. I'll go into the corner cutting. See, when you try to cut corners, it's not quite the best. It's close to Zanji, but it doesn't quite compare. Down cutting's about the same. See, can't quite 
cut there, but it's pretty close. So I, I'd say between this and the Zanshi, it's a matter of personal preference. Because this one, it just feels like it's gliding the entire time. The Zanshi is a little more clicky. So it's really a matter of personal preference, about the same speed. And last but not least, the Ling Yun. Huh, just flipped a corner. This, I have to say, is my least favorite of them. But then again, it's the only one that didn't come lubricated already. See, it pops pretty easily, even with the torpedoes in. Technical difficulties. So, what do I have to say about this cube? As I mentioned before, it still it feels stiff. It still has that stiff feel. But it also, at the same time, somehow, while feeling really tight, it feels loose. Like, I can just pull these things apart. Well, not completely apart like that, but... It just feels like, while you're solving it, when you're trying to, whenever you try to cut corners, it just feels like it's going to pop, and sometimes it does. See, like, from... Ah, it just... I really don't like the feel of this cube. See that? That lock up there? It's pretty bad. I'm not sure how this is going to be once I tension and lubricate it, but I'll, I'll show that in my next video about this. I always do a T-perm. It's just sort of my go-to algorithm. How about an R-perm, I think this is? Sort of at an awkward angle filming. So, yeah, it still has that sort of Alpha 5 feel. Except for, actually, my Alpha 5 no longer has that feel. Because it's been tensioned, lubricated, with Lubix. And now my Alpha 5 doesn't have that feel, but this thing does. I'm not sure if that will go away with lubrication. But I just, I must say, I don't really like this. Because it's not that fast, and it feels very unstable to me. So, that's about all I have to say for these first thoughts about these cubes. And with that, I leave you. Got an unboxing from Amazon.com. Ow! That one actually hurt.